A $50 million center to research the designing of smart buildings in a post-pandemic world was opened at the National University of Singapore. Using the campus as a testbed, the center aims to merge technology with academia to ensure buildings are safe and sustainable with a new focus on wellness. The newly launched Open Blue Innovation Center is a living lab located within the National University of Singapore. Fitted with sensors and automated overhead ventilators, the 240 square meter space currently holds up to 35 people. Its capacity being cut by about half for now due to COVID-19. One of the center's unique feature is monitoring social distancing by using sensors. Any breach will be recorded in the database for tracking purposes. The ambient temperature is also kept at 26 degrees Celsius with plants placed throughout. These protocols aim to help people attain better physical and mental health. Johnson Controls, the company behind the centre, says these features will become more common post-pandemic. Industry experts added that COVID-19 has heightened the importance of such health elements in smart buildings. The centre will test bit such concepts with the aim of commercialising them. What we're trying to drive out of this innovation centre together with NUS is we're trying to get data. We're trying to use a scientific approach to quantify what productivity improvements wellness brings that will also be, can be tracked and traced by a financial metric. And what this increase in productivity means to the financials of the real estate investor or owner. NUS will tap on research and innovation in areas like build and urban environment, data analytics and sustainability. This will help the university in its push towards developing a smart and sustainable campus. The lab will also help fast-track NUS's goal to become carbon neutral in 10 years' time and advance Singapore's 2030 efforts to tackle climate change. We can actually help the government to set directions and how the national agenda for this uh, carbon neutrality. We have been also working with the Coal SG program, the uh, people in NEA, uh, the people in MEWR, basically on how telling them that we can actually be the living lab for any of the solutions that they actually need to test out. The university hopes the living lab will allow them to take on more projects on the national and regional scale. In the next four years, the lab aims to hire more than 100 workers.